Okay, so I've not done this unboxing of Castle, but because I thrifted half of it and the last two I bought on eBay, the last one just arrived. So it's about $20 value, maybe $30. Some of the seasons are between $20 and $30 on eBay. And the last one could be going for $30 to $40. So the value for the whole thing is about $150. So if more of these TV shows were priced this low, then I would get a lot more of them in my collection. But there are shows I want that are priced pretty high, so usually I wait for like my tax refund to come in, or if I have like part-time work. But usually my work every now and then, but nothing much. So that came thrifting. Mostly I have it thrifting. They open up a little bit different, each one I think. See how they open up. This one's... Uh, I'll try to fix that one. This one's got a slip cover. I bought this one on eBay. Most of them open up this way. They don't have a disc on the front. It's not all of them have a slip cover. So. I don't know if you buy complete, if you'll have a slip cover for all of them, let me know. But I think most of them open up that way. Yeah. Pretty much all I like that. And I watched Castle a lot on TV when I had it. It's not on Netflix, so I'm really happy to have it. I don't know why they did not pick up Castle on Netflix. It's not a huge show, so... Only a handful of seasons, but... I don't know if I remember them getting married or not, but... I know I watched it to the part where he proposed to her. So... I don't know if he has a fan mail available where you can write to him, but if I do find a fan mail for Castle, I might try to write to the show. He's got other shows on the go, so, but this is a show that I know him by, because I watched it quite a lot when it was on TV, and it might be worth uh, buying it all together, because he might get more of the slip covers. Uh, or you might not, I don't know. Or if it has to become in a box. But I found most of them thrifting, so I did not have to pay for the box. But I'm going to try to get uh, the other show. He's got another show called Bones. So I don't know much about that show either. I don't think that show is better than Castle, though. I think Castle is the best show. Or if he has, has other shows besides Castle and Bones, I'm not sure what he's done or what he's been in, but he's probably been in quite a few things, so I might have to look stuff up, see what he's been in, try to follow some of his shows, whatever he's done. Is he from Buffy? I'm not too sure, but something tells me he was from Buffy, but I don't, I don't know. So, there is a part in the beginning where it says something, but I don't quite understand it. I probably never will. Uh, and a, a little snippet he has in the beginning, like a line. I think at the beginning of each show or something, he says something. But I can't really make out what he's saying, because it's kind of a weird dialogue but other than that the show is pretty good they only had like one Halloween episode I think like a haunted house thing which was pretty good they, I don't know if they showed that more ghost stuff for Halloween and stuff like that but thanks for watching the complete set for Castle
value about 150 bucks. I don't think it's worth more than that. Or if there's a deluxe, if there is a deluxe, I might get the deluxe when I'm caught up with most of my movies. She's pretty good. She was on uh, Twitter, I think. I don't know if she's still on there or not. The redhead. But that's Castle for ya. Thanks for watching. Unboxing of Castle Complete. I cannot put it eBay fine. I cannot put it thrifting. Because it's a combination of both. So I, If I bought the whole thing off eBay, then I, I would have listed it off, complete off eBay. But I only bought like two or three of them off eBay. And the rest of it was thrifting. So it's mostly been thrifting. And got a pretty lucky with that. Thanks for watching. Took a while to get them, but sometimes you could do that. If you don't mind waiting a couple months here and there and pick up a season to complete something.